welcome to Miss Rusky's Business Apps in a Snap. We are using Pearson's Learning Microsoft Office 2010 book, focusing on Word, Chapter 1, Lesson 3, Project 6, page 106. So let's get started. Okay, when you open up your document, this is what you should be seeing. And we're going to get right into it and use some of the same options that we had before. Using the File tab, we're going to go into our options. And then we're going to choose Advanced. And we're going to check off the box where it says Use the Insert Key to Control Over Type Mode and hit OK. From there, you're going to go to your status bar, and you're going to click this, the option where it says overtype. Okay, you're going to hit escape to be able to close that shortcut menu. And then we're at number seven, where it says press the insert key to turn on overtype mode, which we are all familiar with now from the previous lesson. We're at number eight now, where it says position the insertion point to the left of where it says announces two cross-country ski adventures. So I'm right there, and now what I'm going to type over it is adds, oh, sorry, my insert key again, adds a Central American getaway to its winter schedule. Okay? And now what we're going to do is undo the action and then redo it. So undo, redo, and we're going to press the insert key to turn on insert mode again. Select the text Costa Rica and type Denver. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to type Denver, Colorado. And then it also asks me to do the two hyphens followed by today's date. So one, two, today's date is August 13th, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, great. Now we're moving on to number 12. Select the text this winter, you have the option of joining. Okay, so we're going to find that in our text. We're going to select that and we're going to type for those who prefer colder weather. Now we're on number 13. It says select the word for between adventures and cross country. All right, so we are going to choose that right here. And it says we are actually going to type is offering to replace that. Apply the subtitle style to the first line of the press release. So I'm going to select that choose subtitle and then undo the action to apply the title undo and we're going to use title okay notice it's starting to shape up and look like we we see in figure 3 2 okay now what we're going to do is apply the heading 3 style to the second line move the insertion point to the end of the document and we're going to choose repeat and then we're going to get our cursor to the end of the document which you can do by clicking there or hitting control end end as you know and then you're going to hit enter you're going to type your name make sure to close save and exit word 